Next up, let's try to find the acceleration and tension for this um, system. Now, here's what you know, please. Um, usually, the strings revolve around the pulleys. That's either this or this. So there are four possible directions here. Either this way or this way, this way or this way. For this case, only be. Now, here's the, here's the concept. See, this side here is fixed. Or perhaps it's tight. So there's no way this rope will go up one. So it cannot be this one. Consider this one instead. It's here that I can have a motion this way or this way. So I'll use one instead. So I'll use, I'll use one out of the whole concept. Now look at this one here. For this one here, which of them will move towards the direction of greater mass? Obviously is like this. So this is from this pulley here. I give you why you leave this one out. Because this one is attached to an end which cannot move. So the only one possible to move is this one here. Of course, move towards the direction of the greater force M2 or greater mass. That's it. But then again, that's that's one. That's one. Let's get out three body diagram please. For this one, am I adding scientific here? Yeah? No. So because what there? Yeah. Abby? Yeah. For this one here, yeah, what do you get? Sine theta or sine theta 1? Sine theta, I just want to angle. There is no theta 1, I just want to angle. Alright. Next up, next up, next up, listen. Listen. If this is going down, listen. If this is going down, what will be the direction of tension? Huh? Let's assume this is being suspended. What will be the tension of tension? This one up or down? Uh -huh. I'm calling this T upwards. This one up or down? Think one up or down? Uh -huh. Up or down? Uh -huh. Picture this in your mind. Uh -huh. Hold on. Picture this in your mind. If I have a string here, if this man is going down, this will fall. Throw us. Yeah, you have two strings holding something. Cut this one, two of them falls down. So for the fact that this one is suspended, it's going what there? Upward. Still in opposite direction. This one cut goes this way. Now they are just now this. Please, am I leveling T1, T2, T3? No. Same string, Abby? Yeah, yeah. Please, no, same string. We look at case of different strings. T1, T2, T3. That's how it works. For now, same string. All right, let's now get free body diagram. Uh, let's draw. Let's draw the free body diagram. So here's what I got. Let's start with this one here. The the uh, bigger mass. This one here. So for mass M two. For mass M two. What do I have? I have this one here. Now watch this. Watch this. So I'm focused now. I'm having M2. This way, this is M2. Below M2, I'm seeing M2G. Above M2, I have a pulley system that has this one going up here. Yeah? Here, yeah? we call this T. This one going up. Here, we call this C. For this case, now let's get the sum of forces. For this case here, we'll have that the sum of F, this is for 2, F2 is equal to what do I have? Now look at this. First of all, this direction is here, when it's coming down one, please. Here, down, that's down. Right, between this and this, which one supports the motion? This one here. So it becomes positive. So it becomes M2G. Next up, this one is going in the opposite direction. So it becomes minus T. So I'm having minus T. Also, 
This is also going what there, opposite direction. So it also becomes again what again there? Minus t. So I have 2 minus t. So n2g minus t minus t. Mathematically, this now becomes minus 2g minus 2t. Have you? Yes. So sigma, sigma f2 is equal to m2g minus 2t. But we said sigma f2 uh, is equal to what there? m to a. Bring this value here. Yeah? Becomes what there? m to g minus 2t. That's this value. Is equal to what there? Yeah? m to a. Here's your first equation. Let's say for the next mass, for mass m2, for mass m1, for mass m1, that's this one, yeah? Um, m1, for m1, here it's going down, here it's going up. So t is going up. That's this one here. This one is coming down. Um, M1g sine theta. Get some of forces. Sigma F1 is equal to. So my motion for this one this is moving upwards. So it can go up like this and downward. So the one that supports this motion is what? Eh? T. So T becomes positive. It becomes T minus m1 g sin theta but well, sigma f1 is equal to m1 a so in this value here i have m1 g my i have t excuse me i have t minus m1 g sin theta equal to this one here yeah? m1 a call this equation 2 now here's one make t subject of the formula from here move this man over here so t is now equal to m1 a comes to becomes plus m1 g sin theta put this value of t into here yeah? So put t into equation 1. So that becomes this one here. M2g minus 2. So 2 into t. t is this value here. Yeah? That's uh, m1a plus m1g sin theta. Right. So m1, m2g minus 2t. That's this value. Is equal to m to a. Expand this. Everybody see here? Yes. Expand that diagram there. Yeah? It becomes m to g minus 2 m1 a uh, minus 2 times m1a, which is minus 2m1a, minus plus is minus, so minus 2m1g sin theta. Minus 2m1g sin theta is equal to what you have here, that's m2a. Alright, so take this one here, I will have that. Um, M2G, this one here, yeah? minus 2M1G sin theta is equal to this one here, yeah? M2A. This one comes here, yeah? plus 2M1A. Factorize it, it becomes M2G minus 2M1G sin theta is equal to factorize a becomes m2 plus what? 
two m one a. So m two times a, m two a, two m one times a, two m one a. So divide both sides by this, such that a will now be equal to m two g minus two m one g sine theta all over this one there. Yeah? M2 plus 2M1. So in this value, it was M2. Then, into G, 9.8 minus 2 into M1, this 5, into G, 9.8, into sine theta is what? 30. All over M2, this 10 plus 2 into M1, 5. So I have this. If I pick values, I have this. So A, so A is now equal to this one. Give you what there? 98 minus. Please punch this one here. Minus 49 all over what there? This 20, right? 2 times 5 is 10, plus 10, 20. Right, so A is now equal to what you get there? No, 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 no. Sorry? 49 over 20. So A is equal to what? 2.45. Alright, for tension, for tension, please recall any of those equations, please. Recall either one or two. Anyone there? T minus. Sorry? M1 times theta is equal to. Alright, move this one over here. C is equal to plus so in Q value M1 is 5 so 5 times A A is this 2.45 plus M1 5 times G 9.8 sine theta is 30 so this is what yeah? Twelve point two five plus in this value twenty four point five. Sum of everything. What's the thirty six point seven five newton? Right. So that's your answer after solving. This is how you solve this problem.